All right, so in this video, I'm going to be doing Merlin's Crystal. Um, it's a quest in Camelot in Old School RuneScape. So for this quest, you need three Camelot teleports, three Varric teleports, three Falador teleports, one Pest Control teleport, Bucket of Wax, Bat Bones, Tinderbox, and Bread, all of which you can buy from the GE. I also have food. And basically, I'm going to start the quest now. I'm going to start it by teleporting to Camelot. They actually have uh, Catherby teleports as well, um, but I'm not going to do them. So basically, on the map right here, if you're a member, you can teleport right here. Otherwise, you need to basically go north of Falador and then go through here, and you're only allowed through here if you're a member. And then run all the way up through Great White Wolf Mountain, and then you could run through here. All right. So, basically, I'm going to go into King Arthur's castle right here. And I'm going to speak with King Arthur right at the top right to begin the quest. King Arthur, welcome to my court. I am King Arthur of the Knights of the Round Table. So, I'm going to say I want to become a Knight of the Round Table. Well then, you must complete your quest to rescue Merlin. Talk to my knights if you need any help. Alright, so now I'm going to speak with Sir Gerwine, right here. Good day to you, sir. And I'm going to say, do you know how Merlin got trapped? I would guess this is the work of the evil Morgan Le Fay. And where could I find her? She lives in the stronghold to the south of here, guarded by the Redingate Knights led by Sir Mordred. And I'm going to just click up here. I'm done with him. So now I'm going to go into this room. And I'm going to speak with uh, Sir Lancelot. Greetings, I am Sir Lancelot, the greatest knight in the land. What do you want? And I'm going to say, any ideas on how to get into Morgan Le Fay's stronghold? That stronghold is built in a strong defensive position. It's on a big rock, sticking out into the sea. There are two ways in that I know of, the large heavy front doors and the sea entrance, only penetrable by boat. They get all the deliveries by boat from Catherby. So now I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to run over here. And before I run over to Catherby, which is located right here, I'm just going to run to the bank right here and grab a stamina potion. Because I forgot running exists in this game. Yeah, I'm just going to go to Varric real quick, just grab a stamina potion. Insert uh, Adobe emote here. Everyone get your uh, Adobe logo. Adobe's out. Bring out all the Adobe's. Alright, so I'm going to buy some stamina potions. I'll buy some Catherby teleports too. Whatever. Oh, great. My, uh, whatever died. All 
Okay. So, I basically got uh, some stamina potions. So, I'm gonna run over to Catherby, northeast of this candle shop here. You could also teleport right to Catherby, but it's so close to Camelot, there's really no need. And the Camelot teleports and uh, this teleportation spell to Camelot are pretty worthwhile. So, I'm gonna search, right click, and click hide in this crate. This crate is empty, it's about big enough to hide inside. Would you like to hide inside of the crate? Yes. You climb inside the crate and wait. And wait. And wait. You hear voices outside the crate. Is your crate Arhin? Yeah, I think so. Pack it aboard as soon as you can. I'm on a tight schedule for deliveries. You feel the crate being lifted. Oof, wow, this is pretty heavy. I never knew candles weighed so much. Quit your whining and stow it in the hold. You feel the crate being put down inside the ship. You wait and wait. Casting off. You feel the ship start to move. Feels like you're now at sea. The ship comes to a stop. Unload Mordred's deliveries into the jetty. Aye, aye, captain. You feel the crate being lifted. You can hear someone mumbling outside the crate. Stupid Arhine. Make me candles. Never weigh this much. Hurts. Union. About this. If my ship be different. Stupid Arhine. You feel the crate being put down. Would you like to get back out of the crate? Yes. You climb out of the crate. Okay. So I'm going to go into here. And I'm going to go up the stairs. And then I'm going to go up the stairs over here. And right here. Here is Sir Mordred. So basically I'm going to right click. And I'm going to say attack Sir Mordred. So Sir Mordred has... 38 health points. He says, please spare my son. So I'm going to say, tell me how to untrap Merlin and I might. You have guessed correctly that I'm responsible for that. I suppose I can live with that fool Merlin being loose for the sake of my son. Setting him free won't be easy though. You will need to find a magic symbol as close to the crystal as you can find. You will then need to drop some bat bones on the magic symbol while holding a lit black candle. This will summon a mighty spirit named Thrantax. You will need to bind him with magic words. Then you will need the sword Excalibur, with which its spell was bound in order to shadow the crystal. So, I'm going to say, what are the magic words? You will find the magic words at the base of one of the chaos altars. Which chaos altar? I cannot remember. So I'm going to say, okay, I will go do that. Morgan Le Fay vanishes. Alright, so I'm going to leave here, and I'm going to cast a teleport to Camelot. And now I'm going to run southeast again to the candle shop, and this time I'm going to go inside the candle shop. So now that I'm in the candle shop, I'm going to talk to the trade candle. Hi, would you be interested in some fine candles? I'm going to say, have you got any black candles? Black candles? Hmm. In the candle making trade, we have a tradition that is very bad luck to make black candles. Very bad luck. I'll pay good money for one. I, I still don't know. Tell you what, I'll supply you with black candle. If you can bring me back a bucket full of wax. So I'm going to talk to him again. I already have the bucket of wax. Have you got any wax yet? Yes, I have some now. You exchange the wax with the candle maker for a black candle. Alright, so now I have this black candle here in my thing. So basically what I could do now is I can go over to I don't know what he does in Port Serum. I don't I don't remember where he got Excalibur from. All right. So I'm going to go to Falador and I'm going to speak with the lady. So I'm going to Falador now, after I get the black candle, I'm going to go to Falador, and I will head, her, head over to uh, Traverly, Taverly. So I'm heading over to Taverly, which is northwest of Falador. As a member, you could go through this gate, and then I'm going to run down here, over here. So while I'm running through Falador, in fact, I could right click and use the tinderbox on the black candle, of course.
Notice how the black candle is lit. Okay, so I will go through this gate over here. Only members are allowed through this gate. So now I'm going to run over here and then here. Let me drink some more stamina potion. I'll run over here. Then I'm going to speak to the Lady of the Lake. Good day to you, sir. I'm going to say, I seek the sword Excalibur. Aye, I have that artifact in my possession. Tis very valuable, and not an artifact to be given away lightly. I would want to give it away only to one who is worthy and good. And how am I meant to prove that? I shall set a test for you. First, I need you to travel to Port Serum, then go to the upstairs room of the jewel shop there. Okay, that seems easy enough. Alright, so now I'm going to go over to Port Serum. From using the pest control teleport, which I just did, I'm going to speak with the... the I'm going to right-click and travel with the squire right here. He takes me to Port Serum. I'm gonna click the plank right. I'm gonna click the plank right there, and then I'm gonna run up and go over to this shop right over here, to the northwest of Port Sarum. This is the jewelry shop right here, the one with the ring icon. I'm gonna open this door. Please, kind sir, my family and I are starving. Could you find it in your heart to spare me a simple loaf of bread? And I'm going to say, yes, certainly. You give the bread to the beggar. Thank you very much. The beggar has returned. No, the beggar has turned into the lady of the lake. Well done. You have passed my test. Here it is, Excalibur. Guard it well. So she gives me Excalibur, so I'm going back to Camelot. Okay, so I'm going to run to the northeast most portion of uh, this castle so I'm actually going over here so basically I'm going to the northeastern most port I'm going to the northeastern most part of this castle over here and I'm gonna go over to this uh, pillared circle with a symbol right here I'm gonna stand right here I'm going to right click and I'm going to drop the bat bones. I think I'd better learn the words of binding before summoning a mighty spirit. Oh shit. So I'm going to go to Varrock real quick. Okay, so after you speak with the Lady of the Lake and she gives you Excalibur, you need to head over to this uh, chaos altar within uh, Varrock. So, I'm going to run over to the Chaos Altar. The Chaos Altar is located... ...right over here. I'm going to open up this door right here. So here's where I am. I'm at the Chaos Altar. I'm going to click on here and I'm going to check. Right click and check the Chaos Altar. It reads Snarthon, Kandrick, Termanto. Alright, so I'm going to go to Camelot again. Go through the gate. And I'm going to run to the northeast of the Camelot Castle. And last but not least, I'm going to click in between this circle right here. And now I will right click and I will drop the bat bones. Suddenly, a mighty spirit appears. Now what were those magic words again? So, I'm going to say... Snarthon, Kendrick, Termanto. Gah! That has me in thine control, so that I miss return from whence I came. I must grant thee a boon. 
What dost thou wish of me? I wish to be free of Merlin and his giant crystal. Gra, the deed is done. Thou mayst now shatter Merlin's crystal with the Excalibur, and I can once more rest. Be gone, and leave me once more in peace. Okay. So, now that I completed that part of the quest, um, I'm gonna go into this area right here. So to do that, you basically run through this door, go over here, etc. And I'm gonna free Merlin. All right, I'm gonna climb this ladder as well. And then here is Merlin in his crystal. So I'm gonna take a screen cap first. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna right click use Excalibur on the crystal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's not fun being trapped in a giant crystal. Go speak to King Arthur and I'm sure he'll reward you. You have set Merlin free. Now to talk to King Arthur. So I'm going to climb down the ladder. Climb down the ladder. And I'm going to run and speak with King Arthur and complete the quest. So, right over here. Alright, so here's King Arthur. I have freed Merlin from his crystal. Ah, a good job, well done. I dubbed thee a knight of the round table. You are now an honorary knight. You have completed Merlin's quest... You have completed Merlin's Crystal. You are awarded six quest points. Excalibur. Okay. Nice. So. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to go back to Varrock now. I, I complete the quest. Obviously, after this quest, I recommend doing um, the Holy Grail quest as well. My end goal with this quest series is to work um because i got to level 60 prayer which is very difficult by burying dragon bones and basically and scattering vile ashes in the brimham volcano so if you do the king's ransom night waves then you get uh chivalry as long as you have defense uh at level 65 as well on your stat bar um so here is uh the chivalry spell or the chivalry okay so I did a, a knight's rant, uh, if, bleh. Whatever. I'm over it. I could do a voiceover. I don't know what the black handle is for. Alright, that was a good quest. I'm gonna end stream and go mine.